Hello, good morning. This is Shamul here. <coughs> I am going to talk about top 20 countries with best higher education system. So, top 20 countries with best higher education system in the world. We all know education is the paramount and having importance to any individual as well as the society. No matter which religion or which reason or which country we are living, so it is irrespective of any kind of religion or any kind of boundary, we must preserve our education system so that it helps us in pursuing our knowledge. Obviously, the wisdom will come automatically. Our education system, education helps an individual to grab the basic understanding of civilization and their role as a civilian. But as the geographical reason differ, the education system in different countries also differs. Therefore, uh, in my presentation, we will get a brief glimpse of 20 such different education systems at the present world and their ranking through a yearly poll. Uh, the list is been prepared by considering some factors like developed education system for the public quality of basic and higher education and rate of student attending universities. Below is the list of 20 education systems in the world. The first country topping the list is Finland, then Japan, then South Korea, Denmark, Russia, Norway, United Kingdom, Israel, Sweden, Hong Kong, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, China, Singapore, Portugal, Hungary, Estonia, France, and the last one is United States of America. So, friends, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, least probably to discuss the first name is coming finland so the finland is is a part of european the country the title is yet to be official however according to the survey made recently finland has the world's best education system it has been declared that Finland is having the best education system the country has been in limelight since the year 2000 and successfully made into in the year 2018. In fact, when five new parameters were added in the year 2017 for categorization, the best education system worldwide Finland managed to perform well and gave a strong competition to South Korea and Japan. The country ranked higher on indicators like teachers to students ratio, number of passing students in primary school, number of passing students in secondary school. The power ranking score 114. Why does Finland rank as the top education system in the world? Finland, first of all, Finland offers the free education to citizens with no dead ends. The country has been a top performer on every program for international students assessment survey. Finland follow American education research and philosophers ex-John 
due and are inspired by them. The education system of Finland is celebrated in great esteem and is considered as one of the best education system in the world for years. This country outperformed the United States in science, math and reading. What are the major principles outlaying Finland's education system? There are a couple of things that of facts behind this. Number one, probably they have shorter school days, 190 days per year. This is number one. There are certain core principles underlying the education system of Finland. Students are free to choose their educative path let's see how the education system works in finland finland's early education system is laid around the concept of learning through play until the age of six students are not required to attend school they provide basic education when the child turns seven and the next nine years they follow a single structure education. They take special steps to revise, revamp their curriculum to meet the needs of each individual. The Finnish National Agency for Education promotes self-evaluation evaluation for both teachers and school to help them improve them. Also, Finland does not incorporate national standardized testing, but they do the evalu evaluation for testing learning outcomes. One of the other striking features is the free meals they provide. The upper secondary education is split into two, that is general and vocational. The general education students have all the freedom to choose their study schedule and in the end they need to attend a matriculation exam and these scores are counted in their college application. Vocational education is job focused where school learning and <coughs> sorry <coughs> and training to go hand in hand students achieve competitions based on qualification after this. Higher Secondary education is also completely free. Students need to pay only for their books, transportation and other supplies. The colleges of Finland are divided into two universities and universities of applied sciences. The universities in Finland focus on applied sciences whereas the universities of applied sciences stress on practical application. How is Finland is able to provide universal and comprehensive education to all citizens? The Finnish people value education number one and put their time to build a system that adheres to the best education research. So Finland also spend a lot of money for their since uh, the population also is very less uh, close to 10 to 12 billion US dollars they spend for education that is a quite huge number. So the next is coming Japan Japan education system like Finland, Japan has also 
most maintained its second position for last three years despite such top competition by south korea and other countries it has been bragging the second position without fail the main indicator contributing to its success has been development as an understanding of students between the age of 55 to 14 it is the power ranking score is 1 not 4 so now third part is coming south korea south korea has been three time winner of pool world's 20 education systems and it has successfully earned third position every time it has given a strong competition to japan for the second position after japan only south korea has worked well in the sector of bringing immense development in students in the age of 5 to 14 years as per the service the country would have been a strong contender for the second position but few indicators made it lose a few indicators which should denied south korea's second position in the pool are fall in test score of high school student calculated annually fall in test scores of graduation student calculated again it annually power ranking score is 101 the fourth position is going to denmark so again it's a european country denmark has never been a celebrated country for its ranking in the poll yet it has been known for its developed education system among elites earlier denmark was on position eight but due to the passing of five newly included indicators it has taken a giant leap from eighth position to fourth position the indicators that help denmark to jump from fourth position is increased teachers to student kind of ration for secondary and primary school it has got the power ranking close to 94 the fifth position it goes to russia the no matter russia has gained the fifth position yet it should be taken into consideration that a kind of being the fifth position the fifth countries with world's best education system russia's education system is known for preparing students workplace is a kind of ready and it has also a kind of a good teacher student kind of ratio and good relationship the teachers are very much giving kind of care and attention to student if we talk the numbers then russia has a ratio of teachers to nine students approximately so one teacher to nine students can you imagine this figure just compare with india probably you'll understand so there is no ranking out of 20 probably india's rank is not there so the sixth position is coming norway again norway was in the 16th position in earlier quarter however with certain changes in the education system it has jumped 10 position and successfully landed in sixth position if we talk about its teachers to student ratio it is 
one teacher to 10 students approximately. It has completed well with Russia and Japan in terms of teachers to students ratio. So this is a very, very important point that how many teachers, teacher students ratio means the attention part is coming. So it's a close monitoring of students that is very important. Power ranking score close to 82. Seventh position, the United Kingdom. Although this country would have been a great competitor to all five pointers in the least, yet current classes between government and teachers have made it the fallback on seventh position. The United Kingdom could get better if the government uh, prudently hurdles the current situation like giving better wages to teachers and enhanced classroom supports to student and rendering uh, each class with modern educational facilities its power ranking close to 78 eight position is coming to israel no matter israel is kept the eighth position in terms of education system it ranks second in terms better upbringing of kids and developed childhood if we compare the development with yesteryear's people can gather immense changes and betterment the enrollment the rate in primary school and graduation has increased a lot but still it could not help israel to grab a position in top five until the next year its power ranking score close to 77 Another ninth position is getting Sweden, again European country like it others Nordic mates Finland, Norway and Denmark. Sweden has really performed well to keep the place. Its progress in the field of education has been very very impressive from 2015 to 2018 in terms of increased enrollment of students is between 15 to 18 it has ranked third among the countries however it still has to work hard to improve its world's top ranking to get in the first five its power ranking score close to 75 then coming to hong kong 10th position if we take account of last year's fall of world's top 20, then Hong Kong was in 14th position. It has really worked hard in prime indicators and managed to reach the top 10. The indicators that help uh, Hong Kong lift its position, the higher enrollment rate of primary students, if it works out on enrollment of all his students and their passing test score then it could have even raised this its position and get counted among the top five the power ranking it is close to 17 11th position goes to netherlands unfortunately netherlands has lost one spot and dropped from 10th position to 11th position the reason behind it's it's a very negative acceleration is decrease international test score in subjects like science maths and reading in the country works on indicator along with others uh, then it could possibly regain its former position okay that is the 10th position power ranking scores is close to 
67. Next coming is kind of Belgium, again European country, with the most complex education system, including three different communities like Flemish, German, and French. Belgium signs on 11th position during annual survey. It secured 4th and ninth position for teacher to student ratio and 5th position for increased enrollment of students primary and secondary is in school. The score a position in top 20s Belgium has to work hard with two primary indicators students enrollment rates and second thing is teachers to students ratio power ranking close to 65 next coming to germany 13th position germany is known for its social and economic justice worldwide the country has worked hard to reach the top 10 but could not due to lack of improvement in few indicators in last two years currently this country is fighting to certain a position in the top 10 but it could not until it brings desired changes in the education system its power ranking close to 63 that is in china the 14th position no doubt china's empowerment rate has pretty high but still the factors could not make the country bag a six, uh, secured position in the list of top 10 in this year. It was in position 9 in the year 2018, but it failed to repeat the same in 2017. Since then, China is improving its education system to get it a position among top 10 countries only thing when could help china is improving the enrollment rates of students at early age the power ranking score is close to 80 close to 62 the 15th position is coming to singapore known as the world's best test Taking country, Singapore has ranked the highest in primary and secondary international test in subjects like math, science and reading in the year 2016. Later, the score somewhere like no settled and made the country struggle to get the highest position back. They failed to achieve two indicators enrollment of students of primary and secondary ages and the international state scores in maths, science and reading. A good investment in the education sector could make this country sign again and grab the position among top 10 and its power ranking close to 57. 16th position that is going to Portugal. Portugal has always shown the kind of a pendulum movement between below average and average and good. In 2008, the country was predicted secure a position in top 20, but it failed. However, this year the country not only entered in top 20 list and even secured 16th position which is comparatively good so in terms of better enrollment rates of primary and secondary ages it ranks kind of second highest it worked very hard and it could make it into top 15 soon and the power ranking is close to 54 uh, 17 position that is coming to hungary last year hungary scored close to 20th position and this year it managed to jump three rank up in hungary maintain its highest teacher to students ratio in secondary school 
there are chances that it could finish the top 15. The only indicator Hungary is unable to fulfill the higher graduation rates. So the balancing higher graduation rates could slip Hungary to top 15. Power ranking is close to score is 52. The 18th position that is going to Estonia. So out of Northern Europe, Estonia is 8th country to grab a rank in 2018. It failed to grab even a position in top 20. Wherever, like you know, whereas this year it managed to get the 18th position in the country works a little on indicators like higher enrollment rates of primary and secondary school students and higher international test score. It could grab a better position this year. The only helping indicators is growth is a higher competition rate of primary school students. Power ranking is close to 15, 55, 0. In 19th position that is getting grabbing by France, again European country, having the highest enrollment rate of early childhood made France stay in top 20 last year. If it works hard and uh, the continues to invest wisely in education system, it could kind of retain its position successfully in top 20. As the present government is taking extra care, kind of investing in educational system, so it could secure the position of top 10 by year 2020. And 20th position is getting none other than United States of America. So because of kind of a transition of states government, it has to stay and put at 20th position in last year. It had secured 7th position, but uh, catastrophically it's failed to maintain its, its position. So these indicators are suggesting that the United States will either get its position back or jump a position backward. So uh, its total power ranking is close to 47. So the listing above the world top 20 education system has been done on certain parameters and that is recently carried survey worldwide this is worldwide survey so if you have any take on this above listing do tell us by commenting so where is india india's position so it is very difficult to say that where is India is placing. Let me come back about India. Wait a minute. Wait for a minute. Well, well uh, while talking about top 20, the rank of India is India is holding rank of 37th position is quality education system as far. The records So. I, I talked about 20 countries and uh, India's position. So we all know that Indian education system uh, rates a lot of revamping and I, I, in my opinion the education policies has to be changed. It should be directed more towards kind of a very practical way of looking into it where job can be created, the skill and other things would be brought in. Entrepreneurship has also to be brought into our curriculum. That is what probably we need to relook our whole education system. And uh, if we really want to 
have job creation as i told that entrepreneurship that those kind of things are very very important uh, component with millions of students that are coming out from different levels either from college university engineering technical institute so so accommodating them for creating job opportunity or make them understand that the developing new technology and setting up industries or small scale industries which i say that entrepreneurship that government has to take lot of interest for give kind of a sense of feeling that the benefit of entrepreneurship and that probably that culture has to brought into the system so that is one part i feel uh as we all know the indian students are very good in reproducing on papers due to uh learning we cannot expect any change in our ranking until the method of teaching is transformed into practical concept and application based see there are a lot of good academician is talking about whole lot of things we have been speaking all those things but it has to translate into reality that is the main thing uh our testing and evaluation method also needs to be transformed to major students understanding and application for creative problem solving we have been speaking for last 75 years the same old story probably you keep on speaking i have been also speaking the same story until or unless we use our knowledge and wisdom and understanding so any individual whoever is coming from university or graduation engineering they should evaluate themselves what potential they have so their knowledge wisdom has to be applied in various sector that is the main thing so government should not be in the business of providing jobs they should create an opportunity for better education better entrepreneurship platform they should create it that is all about and i have been also working on my emotional lab that is my mind lab i was trying to understand the animal behavior their emotions intelligence their knowledge i have taken the cat model i have seven cats i was trying to understand their behavioral pattern learning skill and everything so i was i am working on their emotional and intelligence part using oxon theory this how oxon theory can be applied in human kids and all for better education for understanding so the more you closer individual attention is very required all the european country where the teacher student ratio is very very it is one is to 10 ratio out of 10 students probably one teacher is been allocated so those kind of attention is required for understanding the kids behavior their likings what they like or on the basis of their likings probably one can get into a very kind of a field with their choice so this is nothing kind of a enforced thing probably education should be free as per somebody's likings that is what the whole thing like animal world i have studied the behavioral studies their intelligence each cat kittens are different their their knowledge learning methodology and their behavioral pattern is totally totally different so the same model probably one can apply number one the emotions part learning part and based on those things probably a new educational policy can be formed and 
similar way in, in different organization also auction theory has got many many application where you can create kind of a competitiveness uh, taking into consideration which skill is somebody is holding that sharpening their individual skill the auction theory can be used so there are many ways probably I was thinking to have my little understanding of this thinking the education system whether any alternate education system which can be suited for the country like India so our education system is kind of enforced to one having so much books so much curriculum so much syllabus so much knowledge probably those things there are a lot of unwanted things probably which are not relevant is not required probably in keeping in present context in mind so this total revamping is required i feel personally and the number of hours spending in school and coming back home and spending revising syllabus the whole lot of exercise a small kid of up to 15 years like you no know, giving 16 17 18 19 hours for their education school close to 8 9 hours then coming back home another 8 9 hours there is absolutely no time to really to understand the beauty of or charm of a childhood probably so in india probably no child has seen their childhood in real terms because of the education loads many things from the day one probably you have loaded syllabus so those things must be taken into consideration while we are forming the educational policies friends i am not a not a very very qualified or not an educationalist to understand the education system but whatever small knowledge i have and understanding i am speaking on that capacity at home we have also kid we know how much trauma or pressure they they usually undergo so i have been watching those things this is my practical experience i have been telling so friend this is all about the education system is nothing to talk about indian education system more because i born and brought up here i am very familiar with this education system and what kind of educations we have got and what kind of relevance and application or practical application there in the life that is known to everybody this is nothing to talk more on those issues friend i want to thank everybody that to to speak close to 38 minutes about the world what is happening globally i i am very happy that europe is holding their ranking their openness education system japan and asian countries many asian countries is also is there so india has to do much much better probably so so education for all there are many things are coming into the picture so in india it's a very complex so <laughs> it is going to take hours together to discuss about whole lot of things so once again thank you very much for hearing me out is my small speech bye bye take care